Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on a knit wreath. This is perfect for Christmas coming up. This tutorial I'm going to be using my Addy King and Addy 22 knitting machines. However, this can definitely be hand knit if you prefer to do so. So I'm just going to knit the tube for the primary color. This is a maroon color. So I love this yarn brand from Hobby Lobby and it's 225 rows that I'm going to do. Okay, I've switched to my Addy 22 needle and I'm going to do a knit bow for this. You can definitely use a burlap bow if you want to be super quick and simple. That would still look really pretty. If you want it to have the complete finished knit look, you can always do this. I'm doing 100 rows for this bow. It's a shorter one. On the wreath that I do with my long bow, which most of you guys liked the most, that one was 180 rows. I'm going to be using a 9.8 inch in diameter foam wreath form that I got from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of find the seam and I just go through and kind of saw through it. This is probably not the safest but I haven't found a better way to do it yet. And I was going to say too if you want to get a bigger wreath you can always do that and just add more yarn to your primary color. Now we're just going to take our tube and slide it all the way up on our arm. And we're going to take our opening in our foam form and we're just going to slip it through and pull it until it gets all the way on the form. Now we're going to take each end and we're going to cinch it all the way closed. We're going to do that on both sides. Now just take those two end strings and tie them together several times to make sure it's good and secure. After you've tied it really securely, we're going to pull the tied area in between the cut where the form meets and we're just going to tie it a few more times around the center there to make sure it's nice and secure. I make sure that the cut area of the foam is my bottom, so I'm going to go straight across the opposite side and this is going to be my top. The best way that i found to tie these, because if you don't do it this way, it can come loose, is you do your first little tie and then you go around the bottom side and then pull it back up to the top. And then that's when you start tying your knots. Just repeat your ties all the way around until you get a look that you like. Mine usually end up being about eight ties. After you get finished tying, just kind of fluff it up a little bit here and there. Try to make sure that it's as even as possible. Don't forget to tie some yarn at the top of your wreath for hanging. We are ready for the bow. I always flatten it out, stretch it as much as I can, and cinch both ends. You really can make whatever kind of bow that you want. Um, I found this one to be really easy and quick to make, and it just involves kind of folding it over, and then we just pull it down, and then we're just gonna pull up all of the pieces and put a little piece of yarn through there. Leave some hanging on the other side, and we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And this yarn that's going through is going to create kind of a circle loop through the yarn. So once we have it all set like we want it, we're just gonna pull it together and kind of cinch everything and fold it the way that we want it. If you guys end up wanting a longer hanging bow, you just make the tube longer. So on the long one that I have, as I stated before, that one is 180 rows, where this one is just 100. I'm 
I like to sew the ends of my tube together after I cinch it. I feel like it just makes a nice fold in the hanging pieces of the bow. You can leave them flat if you like. This is just what I do. For this wreath, I'm making my bow hang on the bottom. I haven't made one like this yet, so that was just my preference with this one. So that is it pretty much. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And the cool thing about these wreaths is that you can really make them however you want. You can do crazy colors, you can do different bow placement, different bow sizes, different materials. And of course, I believe my first one has been my favorite. I really like the long bow. It's just super pretty.